Kerry captain Bernie Breen leads the celebrations after her team ended a 19-year wait to return to an All-Ireland senior final. And after losing the last two semi-finals, it was third time lucky. Three years in a row, like, um, I just think it's well-deserved at this stage. Like, we, we trained hard and we know it's going to be a tough game, like, but Cork and Monaghan, but, you know, we'll give it a go. We'll see how it goes. We're just delighted. I'm just overwhelmed at the moment, so. You're just 23, so you won't remember 1993, the last time Kerry were in the All-Ireland All Senior Final, but you must be aware of the tradition in the county. Yeah, we're very much aware of the tradition in, in the county, and we actually have two, two of the best fo lady footballers in Kerry that are, are on our, as our, they're our Mary, because they're Mary Jo Corn and Nora Hallisey, and to even have them on the sideline with you and coming into you and giving you that bit of talk during the game, it, means it's, it, it helps you on so much and you wouldn't even realise it. So we're well aware of the tradition and hopefully this year is our year and we can pick up from where they left off. Did you think in 93 that it would be so long before you got back? No, honestly, we didn't. I suppose 93, uh, there was still a lot of the older players from the 80s there. It sounds very very a long time ago when you mentioned the 80s like you know but then there was just a break of players and we just couldn't get a bunch uh, together just good enough I suppose really the commitment was there but just didn't bit of look and things like that but uh, this um, group of players the effort they have put in is unreal and uh, they totally deserve a day out in Croke Park. Uh, just overjoyed words can't express like how we feel and myself and Caught it's our first year with the senior panel so we're just so happy to be part of it and here, hopefully now that we'll push forward and have a good chat to the All-Ireland and we're just delighted we're going to take it from here. Uh, I don't know, I mean like the girls are so close the last couple of years and I just like, I'm so delighted for the girls because they put everything into it and I'm not, I'm not surprised that we got, finally got it, it's the third year like going for it so thrilled. Now honestly at the start of the year did you really think you would reach the All-Ireland Senior Final? Kerry's first since 1993. Well, we thought so. We thought we'd aspire to it anyway, you know. I mean, the rest of the country wrote us off, which is fine by us. They've been doing it for the last three years. But uh, we're a championship side, and that's what we prepare for. And, you know, once once we got to this stage this year, as I said, we, we weren't going to let it go. Would you like Cork in the final? I don't care who we play in the final. <laughs> to be honest about it, it doesn't really matter. How is it different now in terms of the commitment, in terms of the players? Are much different from, what, 20 years ago now? Well, I think the fitness is just gone totally. It's I suppose just like the men's really fitness running. The running game is there both in men's and ladies now. Is the whereas I suppose back in the 80s, uh, the, I suppose we were cute enough to let the ball do the work and we didn't have to do as much running. But the fitness now, I think that's what is there. So can Kerry win the All Ireland first one in so long? Of course, we were just talking about it there. Kerry were in 11 All Irelands and we never lost in All Ireland. So we hope this will this will keep going again.